Hello, welcome on another adventure. You would think from all the snow that we have right now that we're somewhere on Mount Hood, but actually we've got ourselves a snow day here in Portland. So I was able to leave straight from my house and kind of go for a little run in the snow. Today we're heading up to Council Crest. Uh, there are many ways to get to Council Crest from Portland, anywhere in Portland. One of my favorites, especially because it's close to my house, is to go through the Arboretum. So that's where we're starting right now is an intersection of the Arboretum at the White Pine Trail and Fairview Boulevard. We're going to go right by the Vietnam Memorial across 26 up the hill and we'll get to Counts Crest Park at that point. And while I know that snow adventures are not atypical for me this time of year and snow is definitely not unusual for most people in this hemisphere this time of year, it is quite unusual for uh, people living down in town in Portland and it's quite exciting to see this much snow this down low. Without further ado, let's get going. All right, we're over at the Vietnam Memorial right now. The market trail goes right behind it. And on the note about the trails, there are so many intersections on this run that I could definitely not point them out in a concise video. So if you're interested in this, Check out the map that I'm going to put the link below. And if you want to take a different route, there's so many trails to check out. Get on the Arboretum website, Forest Park website, Washington Park website, Market Park website, and take a look at all the trails they have in the area. Otherwise, I'll just point out the big ones. All right, the first major intersection and one of the major points of confusion when you're taking the Markham Trail from this side up to Counts Crest is when you get to this point just below the zoo and you end up having to cross the highway. So you can see here, there's not much traffic. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross illegally. Normally I would not be this reckless because there's usually a bit more traffic here, but we're just gonna go to the other side of the sidewalk here and we're gonna go ahead and cross over US 26 Sunset Highway. And we'll also get a nice glimpse of how empty the road is when it normally be pretty busy on a Friday afternoon. So you can see people don't really like to drive in Portland when it snows. See, there's not many people out on the road right now. But you continue across US 26 and you turn left onto the on-ramp and the trail is about halfway down the on-ramp. And here we are back on the trail. Trail then shoots straight up and it's a nice steady climb all the way to the top. Council Crest is part of the Tualatin Mountains, otherwise known as the West Hills of Portland. The Tualatin Mountains are made up of several flows of the Columbia River basalts. The tectonic forces that caused the Cascade Range to rise up also crumpled these basalts to form them into the West Hills we know today. I do love this run in the springtime because this hillside in March, late March is covered in trilliums all around. So I definitely plan on doing another trip report for this one once trillium season rolls around. But for now, we've got some wonderful winter wonderland views. All right, the one other tricky part on this adventure is when we get up to this second road crossing. I think we're up here on Broadway. 
Oh, Patton Road. We're kind of on Broadway Hill up here. And we take a left up here at the stop sign. And then that kind of goes to a four-way junction or five-way junction at Fairview, or Fairmount, sorry. And from there, we'll go up the, up the paved path and continue on to Council Crest. I'll go ahead and zoom, or sorry, speed this next little bit up so you can see the whole thing. We're at one final intersection here, and either of these, any of these ways will take you to the top. What I usually do is I take this paved path straight on the way up, and I take the trail back down and spit out right back here, and then that gets back to, straight back to the road. But I'll see you at the top. All right, we made it to the summit of Council Crest. Normally we'd have some pretty nice views, but of course we're not gonna have any today. Very windy up here. So again, sorry if I'm yelling at the camera. Uh, down there you can kind of see a little bit of view of Portland. But there's actually quite a bit of people here. You can't see right here because we're kind of on the wind exposed part of the top. But just below that hill there, there's actually a lot of people. There's a decent amount of people skiing and snowboarding, which I find kind of odd because there's only about 20 feet of drop. <laughs> but uh, I'm probably not gonna linger here too long because my eyebrows are actually freezing up. But we're gonna get going. One note is uh, people usually think this is the highest point of Portland, but it's actually not. The highest point is actually up in Forest Park and that was changed when uh, Multnomah County actually gave some more land to the city of Portland to create Forest Park in 1948. But one other note is that I came from over there when I came up the paved path. And now I'm actually going just a little bit over to the right from there down to the spot just past where the portable toilet is. And that's where the Markham Trail picks back up and that's where we're gonna be going down. Council Crest stands at an elevation of 1,060 feet and has a prominence of 280 feet. It does have an optimistic prominence of 300 feet, so optimistically we can consider it a true peak, but cleanly it is not technically a mountain. I am grateful for the various groups that care for these trails, including the Friends of Hoyt Arboretum and Friends of Markham Nature Park. Council Crest exists on the land taken from Clackamas and Multnomah Chinook, Tualatin Kalapuya, Cowlitz, and other indigenous cultural groups. I'm grateful for the stu stewardship of these lands. All right, we've made it back down to the, roughly the bottom. We're back here at the Arboretum, uh, right across US 26. If you are gonna follow my route and park at the White Pine Trailhead, just continue this way for about half a mile more and that'll get you back to your car. I'm actually gonna head straight back this way up Canyon Court because that's gonna be the quickest way for me to get home. Thanks so much for joining me. If you enjoy these views, remember to hit that like button and I'll see you at the top.